Good afternoon, dear Toastmasters and guests. Good afternoon. By the, by the time when I reach home in the evening, my battery would be completely drained. I would feel so exhausted and tired that people could easily make out from my face. Whenever I went for shopping with family, I would look out for a bench to go and sit. Not just that, carrying grocery bags, even my own laptop would be a challenge. This was my state of fitness around five years back. I wonder if this is the case now, what will happen when I turn older? That's when I realized there is a need for me to build my endurance. Hence, I took up running. On my first day of running, I could not even run 200 meters. I had to return home walking. However, since running is solo activity and does not require any infrastructure or not extensive training like swimming, it was not so difficult for me to start or begin and progress in my own pace gradually. Thanks to endorphin hormones, which at least during running, you know, I started feeling good for every extra kilometer I managed to run. Very soon, I reached the mark of 10K. From a person who could not even run 200 meters, within six months, I had become a person who could run 10K in a stretch. Then I started taking part in running events. Thousands of people participate, they are from different age groups, participate in such running events. There is a lot of music around and people cheering. It's real fun. I started running four to five events in a, week, in a, in a year. They were a mix of 10K and 21K, which helped me to be consistent. During one such event, I met an 82-year-old veteran runner by name Janata. He is 87 years now and still runs. He is also a trekker and a cyclist. He cycles to event, finishes his run and then returns home by cycle. I was really surprised to see at his fitness level. It made me think that many people struggle to walk in their 60s and 70s, whereas some people like him are so fit and run marathons. That day, I realized one thing. It's all about overcoming your mental barrier and then training towards achieving what you wish for. I was really inspired. I set higher goal for myself. I started training seriously for marathon, 42 kilometers. The long distance run, runs require strong body to support. So then I had to learn many strength workouts. My routine was combination of three days of running and two to three days of strength workout in a week. And also, it was really interesting to learn many things about running, like running drills. It's a, it's a you know, tempo running or an interval training to improve the pace and how to breathe correctly, correcting the running form to run efficiently and so on. Nutrition plays greater role. I got to know many things about diet, hydration, how to refuel during the run. I went through a few injuries but I was able to overcome. I was part of running group as well. It's called Running Jacks and Jills. This group is formed by mostly people working in this building and their friends. I think Toastmaster Poonam is also part of that group. I had opportunity to get, uh, you know, many, uh, get to know many techniques from seasoned runners in the group and also got doses of motivation on going places.
it was real fun to run with a group during weekends, especially you know, heading for Kesri Bath and Masala Dosa after the lunch. I did my first marathon two years back. It was Bengaluru Marathon. I have completed three and a half thousand kilometers so far, and I've been fairly consistent. I wouldn't have pursued this hobby if I had not completed, if I had not realized the benefits of it. Once I had been for trekking to Saklesh Forest, fellow trekkers appreciated my fitness level. I precisely knew how I got there. My lifestyle became more disciplined, my food habits improved, and I could make some good friends through the process. Friends, trust me, I am 44 years now, but I feel more healthier and energetic than what I used to be in the days. My life changed because I could pick up one hobby to stay fit. I'll continue to have wheels under my feet the rest of my life to stay healthy and keep going. So, what keeps you healthy and going? Thank you. Thank you.